Okay, this is gonna be uh, the uh, level one questions for SOL uh, practice test one. I've got, my, um, I've got my iPad ready to go in case some of this stuff is hard for me to see. Okay, these all are level ones, which means you should not be tight uh, using a pencil. Okay, so what I'm doing is I'm putting six where X is, minus three squared. Okay, all I gotta do is um, uh, plus one. I substitute that in, I get 10, that's my answer. Okay, all right, uh, just, uh, I'm just gonna rewrite this so you can see it better. Okay, all right, so what I wanna do is I wanna put uh, 64 in for A and negative five in for B. Okay, so I got negative two. The way I get to the cube root is I go functions all the way to the bottom, cube root. Inside I put 64. I hit over to click outside, plus, then I got B squared, which is negative five. Make sure you put the squared outside of the parentheses, okay? So that gives me 17, so you just type 17 in there, okay? This is a graph match question. So what I wanna do is type that in to the calculator, okay? You know what, it may make sense for me to move the, this over to the other side. Yeah, maybe for some questions it's okay, some questions it's not. Uh, 4x plus 5y equals negative 20. Okay, uh, hit the home button. Okay, it's crossing at negative 5 and negative 4 like that. So that's what I look for, negative 5, negative 4, so that is A. What's the uh, equation to best represent the line? Okay, so what you want to do with this Okay, all right, is I want to graph these in here and see which ones match. Y equals negative three X minus four. Okay, obviously that one doesn't match. Y equals negative one X, one divided by three X minus four. Obviously that one doesn't match. Okay, uh, regular one third X minus four. Okay, that one looks pretty close. It crosses at negative four and sort of trails off like that. So that's a possibility. Let's look at this three X minus four. Okay, well clearly that crosses at 1.3. Well, that's not it. So that's gonna be that, ex that example. Okay, uh, what is the Y intercept? What I wanna do is I wanna graph that in Desmos, four X plus eight Y equals 12. Okay, the Y intercept is 1.5. Okay, if you ever had confusion of which fraction, just do three divided by two to see if that one is. That's 1.5, okay, so that's my answer. Okay, what is the solution? So when I have two equations, I'm looking at where does it cross? So all I gotta do is type both equations into the calculus, into Desmos. Okay, look where it crosses. It crosses at one five, that's one five, that's my answer. Okay, all right, what's the solution? You can either look here and know that that's three negative seven. So uh, remember when you go, that's uh, right and left. Uh, down and up. So from the center, three, negative seven. Now, if you wanted to graph that, okay, uh, that's three X plus Y equals two. X plus three Y equals negative 18. And I look where it crosses, three, negative seven is the answer, okay? All right, same deal, it's got to read for comprehension. It says, what is the X value? Okay, so I put these both in there. All right, that's seven X plus four Y equals negative one. Okay, negative three, five. Okay, so it says, what's the X value? Well, that would be negative three, because this is X, this is Y. Okay, equations. Now when you have, anytime they ask you for a solution, 
root, zero, x-intercept. And they have one line here. All you're looking for is where does it cross the x-axis at? That's all you need, okay? All right, I might move these equations back over. But this Desmos back over to the other side. Okay, so what I wanna do, all right, three, two x minus one, all right, equals three. Crosses at one, that's my answer, okay? Uh, what are the solutions? 3x squared plus 11x equals 20. Okay, 3x squared plus 11x equals 20. Okay, negative 5 and 1.3. Well, negative 5, I'm being a good test taker, it's got to be this. Well, 4 thirds, if you ever want to check, you can always do that to see if that matches your decimal. Okay, what's the zero? Zero means the same thing. So I don't need to type this h of x. I just got to type the x squared. x squared plus 3x minus 18 here, here. That's negative 6 and 3, which that means that's my only choice. Okay? Another equation one. Now, if you ever get a different letter, just use x instead of p. Okay? So 6x plus 4 divided by, actually I gotta do uh, parentheses around that. That's the only way that will work. 6x plus four divided by um, six, okay? And click over here, equals four uh, x minus uh, eight divided by uh, three. Okay, and then I just zoom out until I find where it crosses. It crosses a 10, so that's my answer. Okay, 13, what is a solution? Same thing. Once again, don't use A, use X. Negative 3.5. So you're like, oh, which one is that, Mr. Evans? Well, let's do negative 7 divided by 2. Well, that's negative 3.5. Okay, what are the X intercepts? Same question. All right, you can put the y equals. You really don't need to. I put x squared plus 6x minus 7. Okay, that's negative 7 and 1. Negative 7 and 1. Okay, so as you notice, there's no pencil needed for this. Okay, inequalities, same deal. Okay, what you're looking at is where does it cross the x-axis at? Now, here's what's important. Greater than or greater than or equal to, it's going to be shaded right. Think about greater r, okay? Less than or less than or equal to, all right, shade left, okay? You also have to watch this. These will be a dashed line. These will be a solid line. So I just gotta type this in. Uh, that's gonna be nine parentheses, four x minus eight. Okay, then my inequality is less than four parentheses, six X plus nine. Okay, so that's at nine. And since it's being shaded left, it's nine is, it's X is less than nine. Okay, here's another one, negative two X plus six. Less than X minus six. That's going to be 4, and since it's right, x is greater than 4, because it went to the right. Okay, this is another graph match question. So I want to go y less than or equal to 2 divided by 7. Click over here, x minus 2. Okay, all right, I need to see where it crosses at 2, 7, and it's shaded below there. So uh, that would be this one. Okay, graph match questions are easy. All right, which one is a solution to this? Okay, so what I want to do, okay, is I want to type these into Desmos. Okay, 2x minus 3y less than negative 9. 
And then this question is negative 3, 1. So what I want to do with the points is I want to put them there. Now, what they have to be in is the darkest area. Now, something else that you can look at. If it's ever on the darkest area, let's say you had these two things and this was the darkest area. A point here or a point here. Well, the dashed line, this is no good right here. But this one would be a solution. So you got to be careful. So on this one, all right, that's a two dashed line. So that's not going to be it. Now, if you look at all these, all they're doing is changing the inequalities. So now this one becomes less than or equal to. Okay, all right, and negative 3, 1, I'm going to zoom in there so I can see. Okay, now, since negative 3, 1, okay, all right, is on that, um, uh, that's going to end up being, well, it's sort of tricky because that's a diagonal too, so that's not going to work. But this one, okay, where negative 3, 1 is, okay, where they're both there, that's the one that would work. So if it's on a dashed line or crossing a dashed line, doesn't work, so it's got to be that one. Okay, same deal. Uh, we're looking for the darkest area. Okay, y greater than or equal to 2 divided by 3, x plus 1, uh, 5x plus 6y less than or equal to negative 30. Okay, so the darkest area is this little piece here. So that's that's uh, answer if you were if you're circling that. That'd be answer two. Okay. All right. Um, <clears throat> that's going to be the end of the level one questions. The next thing up is the level two questions.